In last year, we saw a lot of tools launching uh, possibilities to exec to use generative AI to empower the software development lifecycle. Not only the software development lifecycle, but a lot of other um, tools, possibilities um, without software development lifecycle for different areas like a medicine, like a public attendant, or many, many others. And one thing that us developers uh, know is about large language models or LLMs and how to use them, how to instance them, and we have a different kind of them. For example, we have a GPT, we have Claude, we have Titan, we have a Gemini, we have Llama, and a lot of others. But imagine to run locally. It's a hard job to do, right? Well, today I'd like to present you an easy way to run large language models locally with one command only. Stay in this video with me and we understand a little bit more. Hi everyone, my name is Julia Ruda and today I would like to talk a little bit about large language models on our machines and in an easy way because, well, as I mentioned before, um, run these models can be a little hard to do uh, and thinking on this we have for now um, the cloud providers providing this for us. For example, I have Azure Cloud providing Azure OpenAI services, providing uh, DeepSeq LLMs, providing Mixtral LLMs, because Azure already have a biggest data centers with so many kind of hardwares, with a lot of uh, video card processors, uh, and Microsoft have the possibility to run all of them easier and provide to us a uh, possibility to, to, to run the models only with an API call, okay? Uh, it's the same is happening for AWS, for GCP, for the OpenAI servers or cloud servers or any other LLM providers. Uh, the idea is support us to run this easier and only consume this, but uh, sometimes we need to run this locally, maybe to develop something, maybe because our uh, job require, uh, our business require to run this model locally because we are not allowed to have communication with uh, internet, for example, in, sometimes in financial service, uh, it's possible to re have restrictions like that. But imagine to run locally, imagine that probably you are thinking, oh, I need to install something in PyTorch um, and other have a lot of configurations. I need to have a, a, a many hardware, many uh, video cards and memory a lot. It's a very complex job to do. But in last year, we found many tools to support us to run this easier. And now we have another new possibility, the Docker. But before to continue this video, I would like to request you to um, like this video, comment on this, and don't forget to follow my channel to receive more videos like that, to have discussions about this topic and others about Generative AA, a uh, Generative AA in software development lifecycle. But okay, continue is now. Uh, run locally. We already have possibilities uh, with Oyama, with other tools, but now in April 4, in 2025, this year, this month, uh, Docker launched a new possibility to run LLM models locally in your machine in an easy way with one command line. Very, very simple. But it's a uh, quick restrictions for now. For example, I'm here with the blog post for this launching uh, from April 4, by, uh, wrote by Kevin Ritek. I, I don't know if it's correct pronunciation, sorry if wrong. But here we can see how many informations as possible, a lot of descriptions uh, explaining how can you use this. But here I have, we have an important restriction. For now, this feature, it's in beta. Uh, it's run on Docker Desktop 4.40, okay? And one other important restriction in this moment of the recording of this video, it's running on uh, Apple Silicon machines. With uh, M processor, M1, M2, M3, my MacBook is M3 Pro, okay, and I'm able to run this. And to run, it's very simple. I'm here on my 
Docker desktop. I'm using this specific version 4.4.0, okay? And here I can run this, but before to show you uh, here on Docker desktop, let me back on my browser. I have here a Docker Hub page, okay? Uh, with models provided by Docker. LLM is provided by Docker. If you access hub.docker.com slash u slash ai, you can find the Docker published models. For example, Deep Coder Preview, Quen 2.5, Gemma 3, Gemma 3 Quiet, Llama 3.1, Llama 3.3, SMO LLM 2, uh, Microsoft models, uh, V4, Mistral, uh, Llama 3.2, and DeepSeek 2. It's a it's not the biggest number of LLMs, but uh, interesting models here, okay? And if I like to run one of these, how can I do that? I can go here for my Docker Hub to do the same search, okay? I'm using this only for the same search. I'll be looking for Llama. And here, uh, Llama 3 to be easier, okay? Llama 3, I can see Llama 3.2, Llama 3.3. Uh, Alpine Llama, other, provi other people providing uh, TLLM models, but I'm using this Llama 3.2. Let me close this terminal by now. Uh, here you can see some descriptions, characteristics, available model variants, because we have the different kind of uh, Llama 3.2 with more tokens, with more parameters, and different tags, a different set of LLMs have a different hardware uh, hardware to, to run this, need, need a different hardware to run this. For example, one need to have more memory or less memory or more uh, storage or less storage because it's an uh, obvious part maybe, but biggest models have need to be to, to store more data and need to use more memory, more video processors and all of them okay and here you have a intent uses and how can you run this let me open my terminal uh, to download the model you need to copy this command docker module pool llama 3.2 for example but i already have this okay uh, and i already have this the model will be start to run and let me gone clear my screen and after to pull, you like to run. You can copy this, paste here, and docker model run, and it start the chat for you. And now you can talk. For example, good morning. I wrote wrong, but the model understood me. Good morning, how can I help you today? And on the fact, it's not a morning to me, it's a 5 p.m. Uh, but okay. And um, it's a simple question. Let me try to do a little more complex. How works the integration between GitHub Actions and SonarCube for a Java application? And here in real time, the model is generating to me a lot of information to explain how this process works and generating to me a simple code uh, for GitHub Actions, for example. All of them is generating in real time in my machine with no delay, if you see that. It's a very cool feature because uh, I already run some models in my MacBook and okay, I have a good hardware here. My, uh, I have a good memory and a good processor. I'm using the M3 Pro, but sometimes I try models here that the, the velocity to it, but the tensor velocity, the, the, it's a very, very, it's not good. But this velocity, uh, it's very, it's like a real time. It's, same, it's the same like I'm asking something for GitHub, uh, for ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot on the web. The result is very, very good and to run locally with no biggest hardware and no complex steps to do. It's a very, very interesting. And okay, are you thinking now, 
I'm limited to run this only in a terminal and it's not so good for me because I'm a developer. I would like to develop something to integrate this with my application to use the APIs to develop something. And okay, it's a good point, but you are not limited on that. If you see the same post here, I have the possibility to run uh, with APIs too because this model is uh, exposing APIs for us and you, we can develop something. I, I, I don't did this yet, but I'm gonna try and probably create a new video about that. But it's possible to run in a APIs. If you are developing a Gen AI product like me uh, on my company, uh, you can run these models locally, a different kind of models and using the APIs to integrate this in your application to run a lot of tests is easier, easier. You don't need any more to create uh, a, a complex script to run and deploy models locally because, because Docker now created a easy way to run this locally. And okay, I know that we already have other tools like I mentioned before, for example, Yama and others. I already use an other tool then, but I don't remember the name, but I'm using Oliama as well. Um, and it's okay. It's easier to, to use. Uh, it's like, the Docker, for example, I only to, the, to need to do a, a image pool to run locally. But an interesting point from Docker is because, well, I'm a developer. I every day uh, working with containers. I'm already creating containers, running containers from, I don't know, MongoDB, RedMQ, Redis, and other services. And now I have a possibility to run the models using Docker. I don't need to install any other tool any other complex tool, and I don't need to configure anything else extra to run models here. It's a very, very interesting to run locally, okay? I don't know your opinions, what you think about that. Please comment here in this video if I read testing this, if I read tested other tools like Oyama or like other LLM providers, or you are deployed manually using rugging, hugging face scripts or something else. Uh, we're gonna discuss on this video uh, what's the best approach, the benefits, one and other comparisons, cons and pros, what do you think, and we're gonna talk more in other videos, okay? So, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to like this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!